Hey guys, if you watched yesterday's video, I mentioned how I wanted to make a brand new server, so I asked for your guys' help to, you know, give me recommendations, what do you guys want to see, and the majority of you guys mentioned either a Battlefield server or a 1.5x server for either a solo duo or a solo duo trio server. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've actually gotten a ton of people to say solo duo trio uh, 1.5x server for months now, I just kind of ignored it because I wasn't too sure sure how many people would actually want to see something like this considering the other servers in my opinion were great ideas but until i put up a poll on discord asking if people wanted to see the 1.5x solo duo trio or the battlefield server 80 percent of the votes went to the 1.5x solo duo trio so i think it's clear that people really want to see that i do want to thank everybody who actually did dm me on discord giving me some ideas you're really really helpful i'm not gonna lie and i really want to thank those that actually click on these uh update videos and announcement videos because it's clear that you're actually here supporting my channel and you know I don't know it just it's appreciated is what I'm trying to say if you despise these types of videos I promise tomorrow I will upload my video as I was supposed to there is no skipping a day because I'm putting out an announcement video I try to upload every two days the best I can and I'm not gonna stop that because I uploaded an announcement video with that being said the server did wipe today so if you guys would like to go try it out it wipes every Monday and BP wipes every two two weeks. I figured I'd do that since my other servers do wipe on Thursday and I don't really want people to start leaving the 2x to play on a different server because you know maybe they prefer it. I just I don't know I just wanted to make it so that people have an opportunity to play on this server if they rage quit throughout half the wipe on my 2x server so at least you have something else to play on and uh, yeah once again thank you so much for those that actually want to click on this type of video and check out what I have to say. I do appreciate it. I, I really do. And um, I'm going to put up a little clip here on how to connect to my server in just a moment. If you're someone who doesn't really know how to do that yet, if maybe you're new to Rust, you know, you could just search CND blood. But if that doesn't work, you might want to watch this uh, next clip. I think two servers in that clip are actually non-existent anymore. So kind of ignore that. It just shows you how to connect to a server using the IP, which is all listed down below. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for listening to this, especially if you watch till the end. I really do appreciate it. And once again, uploading tomorrow. This is not a filler video, but uh, yeah, peace. Okay, so here's how you can join my server if you're not able to find it by searching CND Blood in the modded section or in the community if you're looking to join the solo server. Okay, so let's go over to one of my videos. Why Why does it say it? Do you guys really search face reveal? Okay, so now we're on my uh, awesome uh, videos. This one is a disaster. So let's go over to this one as an example. Okay, so now we're on this video. If you go into the description, which it will be like this on every single one of my videos, let's go ahead and copy the 5x server's IP. So you just want to go ahead and take all of this as well as the uh, connect part. You don't actually need the client part. You can just do this. Then you want to go ahead and copy. So once you have that copied, we can go ahead and go into Rust. Okay, so now we're in Rust. If you can't find CND Blood uh, by searching CND Blood, if you can't find any of the servers, you basically want to click F1 on your keyboard, which is located at the top left of your keyboard next to the escape button. Once you click that, it'll pop up with this screen, and then you just want to go ahead and press Control and V, and that'll paste the connect and then the IP, and then just click enter. Now, it's going to say that you're joining Amsterdam 2. Please listen to this part, because regardless of how many times I have to say it, people still don't understand. When you connect to the server, again, it'll say Amsterdam 2, but you're actually on my server. It's just what it says. It's been a bug for quite a while, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys learned something today. Maybe you'll be able to connect to my servers now pretty easily. And uh, yeah, have fun.